Ha! Ah, welcome back to this glorious and very peaceful Rimworld Forest base. With all of your good friends, the Dryads, Milky Truckles, and his... Well, his harem at this point. Someone in the comments section yesterday suggested building all of the Dryads houses, so I've renamed them based on my big old list of names. But then we are also going to build all of them houses. They're sentient creatures. They deserve to be up there with the rest of our colonists. And to try and emphasize how equal the Dryads are with the rest of us, I've thrown in a whole slew of mods to... Uh, Help raise them up to the level of our colonists as well. Most is going to be dressing up in silly clothes and then laughing at them. And then, there is Pierre. Precious, precious sleepy Pierre. I think our three original dryads, Pierre, Gertrude, and Jimmy, deserve their own little palace, for lack of a better word. They're the best of us. They're better than any of these colonists. I almost hate to say it, I think we're going to need to expand the hedge. Now, before we get started on that in the background here, I did change the stockpile slash workroom a little bit because I thought it was absolutely hideous. So I've divided that up into a prison and then the workroom has a little storage in there built from solid beeswax. I divided up the farms a little bit too and, and I've kind of tidied up things here and there, put down a nice little path. I think it looks a lot nicer. I specifically added a lot of decoration mods because theming is going to be super important this time around because ultimately this is still RimWorld, right? We're still going to have to use smelters and machining tables and that type of thing. We can spruce it up a little bit though with things like uh, beeswax incense holders <laughs> or uh, dirt, I guess. Blood. Was like, cover the doorway and blood as a message to our enemies. I think a sensible base expansion would be grabbing this fertile soil over here. So maybe building up from the mountain and then overlaying it over to the regular hedgerow. Yeah, a little bit something like that I think will work. We're going to be vulnerable to raiders because... I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a hedge. <laughs> it's not going to stop them for that long. Eventually, we'll be able to get some non-flammable materials from the bees. So we'll use that to shore up the walls later on. But for now, I mean, look, the hedges are super, super flammable. Maybe I shouldn't connect any... Maybe I shouldn't be connecting things up to that outside wall in case enemies do light it on fire. You know we need fire foam poppers. While I was separating this out, building the prison or whatever, they did finish. I think we had queued up batteries and solar panels, which is quite nice. We could go into some dryad-specific research too at some point. But let's be sensible. I know, look. I see, it's a new year. <laughs> fire foam poppers. Fire suppression. Oh, that uses water. That seems a little more on brand. Build sprinklers that suppress fires with a spray of water. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Now, I specifically added a mod this time to allow us to collect water from, from the atmosphere. Kind of more eco-friendly water capturing. I don't know what that count says, though. Okay, I have no idea about that, but what I did see out of the corner of my eye here. Luciferium vaporization. Yayo dusting. Ghost spraying. Ambrosia misting. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. A central room that we try and have every single drug vaporized in the air. How does it work for Luciferium? Ah, uh, uh, utilizing an in-depth knowledge and highly classified drug Luciferium and an immense desire to do very stupid things with it. You've come forward to vaporize the drug. Is that just going to make everybody addicted to Luciferium? Because there are some problems with that. We can definitely have the AO dusters, the go spraying, maybe not Ambrosia so much, but the wake up and the flake. That seems fine. Walk into a room and all of your teeth immediately fall out. <laughs> Wait. You could build hedges around trees? No. I... Do you know how many fucking hours I spent yesterday digging up trees? Is this a laugh? I mean, there's some right there. No. You're telling me that was all unnecessary yesterday. Do you know how many years it took off my life replanting all these fucking trees? I mean, it's a hedge. It makes sense that it wouldn't destroy a tree. I'm... I'm in awe. Oh, my God, you look so thrilled to join us. <laughs> I love the conversation, too. Like, yeah, I, I know all about psychic auras and shit. Please just give me some food. Oh, I don't think we have another anima seed. Um, anyone? Two more. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Here you go. Another fucking person for Milky's harem, I guess. The beehive out here. Oh, my God, new lovers. I didn't even bloody notice that. Milky and Sorsha. Sorsha was clove, eh? Milky really didn't take long. <laughs> really didn't take well long with that one, huh? Holy crap. Well, here you go, boar. This one is for you, my friend. I'm not... I'm not at all happy about this whole clothes situation you got going on, though. Neither's Milky, most likely. We at Bizarro Land, where not only do I actually research something to fight fire, we do it as the first thing. Oh! The Crusher is sleeping in Milky's bedroom. Although, given what goes on in Milky's bedroom, that's probably a, <laughs> probably a curse more than a blessing. Oh, hey, look at that. It looks as if the bamboo maker and the ironwood maker might be working now. And there was me about to make more chlorodryads. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm still going to do that. Why don't we change our current wood dryads then into 
into ironwood. I suppose the only problem with that is building lots of buildings and new furniture might be a pain in the ass. It is 32 ironwood every two days. That's the same as the regular wood maker, right? Yeah, and I mean, ironwood is objectively better. Well, given now that I'm not going to lose years of my life trying to replant trees, let's take that very same corner. Let's flip it and put it on... Put it on this side too, and then we could just get a pretty sizable base expansion. Finally, Palace for Pierre. What exactly did I do in a previous life to deserve this? I haven't even replanted all of the old trees yet, and now new trees have grown. <laughs> I'm going to need a series or two after this where I just burn down forests en masse. Series where we only play with, I don't know, fire weapons. Who has vomited everywhere? Good lord, somebody clean this up. Now, while they're working on expanding the fields of green, both <laughs> literally and metaphorically, I think we need to sort out this power grid because these autobongs are never going to work otherwise. So acceptable power this time around? I mean, I guess either the solar generator or the wind turbine or the human power generator for the time being. Definitely no chem fuel and definitely no wood-fired ones. That's, that's not very on brand. But I suppose we could go geothermal as well. Geothermal power. We've got geothermal heating. Oh, weird. And advanced power sources from... The door expanded. Let's go just regular geothermal power for now. Ah, another marriage. You spoil me, Milky. Who is getting married? Oh, someone asked Milky to marry him. Uh, it was Sorsha. Again, been in the colony about a day. <laughs> what a fucking guy. <laughs> Why does he like Twinball Mink more than anyone else? Oh, wow. That's crazy. He really doesn't like Dice Breeze. What happened there? Hard worker versus lazy. Ah, it's unfortunate. They're also on different jobs. They didn't see each other as much. Not really not really kicking things off with uh, ball, though, huh? We might have to go and get some steel in a second, squad, if we plan on building all of this. On the plus side, though, we've got the mountain directly adjacent to the base. There you have it, solar-powered autobongs. It's green in both ways. You know what? We do need to build batteries, because given that we're using what, like three solar panels right now? It's power a single autobong. Does seem a little wasteful. We should also probably swap out the fuel stove for a regular stove, given that we can run one on solar energy and the other we need to burn our tree brother and sisters. Have we got any more components? Not that I can see. I also don't really want to tunnel into the mountain too much, given that we've already had one infestation after mining like six blocks out down here. I'm going to start off down here. That way, if we get any raiders coming in through the south passage, the insects, if they do spawn in, will deal with them for us. Heat stroke? How have you got heat stroke? Everybody's naked. Well, I mean, we're naked, but obviously not. <laughs> we're obviously not insulated from the heat either at that point. Tattered apparel, which is, again, very impressive, given that we're mostly naked. Mad gurning is expected. Six of the Raxians want to hold the celebration as soon as possible. Where can we have that? Light ball or ritual spot? Oh, damn it. We need a proper dedicated ritual room. I suppose we could throw some <laughs> some speakers into the grove. I've expanded out this wall as well so that we can throw down a little hospital there and make things nice and symmetrical. But now I've got myself a moral quandary. I'm not sure how to answer. Is it unethical to put a giant auto bong in the hospital? I mean, I would say no, personally. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is it does drop consciousness levels. And I feel like you probably don't want people on the verge of bleeding to death, lower consciousness, but I mean, at least they'll die content. Oh, now this should be a good test of the Dryads. Ionina Sidonis, an acolyte of the Commonwealth of Jilpa's fleeing political trouble and needs the Dryads' help. Seven Lancers, two pikemen. I think they would, they would take that out, no problem. So we need a bedroom that satisfies an acolyte, but to be fair, Petal is waiting to become a yeoman anyway, so we need to build some sort of royal bedroom. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's turn this into one big bedroom then and just take this wall away. Hello? Oh, visitors. Hang on, let's put it out of ironwood, seeing as we went to all that effort to actually get the stuff. Oh, damn it. Now I have to make that classic choice between hot springs or geothermal power. Okay, how is that? Good enough? Good enough. Okay, let's take the honor, I guess. I know it would make probably a little more sense if we were very angry with the Empire and probably wanted to kill them. I can't see them as respecting nature too much, but I think it's better to kill them with kindness. Let's go honor plus 12 with Petal. Sidonese, welcome. You better not land on any fucking trees. Word of joy and stabilizing touch. Worth remembering in case any of our poor little dryads take any damage. Oh, we're not going to have a problem keeping your mood high if that's where you're going to spend your time. That's okay. Plus 13 right off the bat there. I like it. Upset because we have no alien slaves in the colony? We don't We do not do that here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, side and easy turned up at a great time, my friend. If I think we went a little too hard on the smoke leaf, we, we quite literally cannot select it all. Incredible. I guess we'll put down some dedicated smoke leaf storage in this room. A more sensible person would have divided this in two and maybe filled half of it with I don't know, like, yeah. Okay, so well, there's pretty much nothing else to do right now. Like, we're stuck until <laughs> we end up finding some more freaking components out there. So, 
Project Autobong. That's at a sad end. I've got plenty of those planned out, just waiting for the components. What do our people need? They're sad because they're missing a naked form. Okay, so we need an art bench. Uh, somewhere is an art bench. Don't tell me, I'll find it. Art bench, here we go. Let's throw down a regular plain old... Oh, I need steel. You know what, let's just cancel these autobongs for the time being. One of them's got to have some steel in it, right? What about, what about like you? Wood, damn it. 100 steel in the solar generator. I've saved the game, it's okay, don't panic. Oh my god, they're finally here. They've landed right in my friggin' base. Their pods went haywire and they scattered everywhere. 675 raid points. No longer. My dryad friends will be facing bollock naked raiders. But now we face the real threat. Whatever the hell is gonna pop out of this drop pod, good luck James R. Lionheart, Pancake, Chuckles. Oh, that poor Scyther. Wow, I... <laughs> I feel like we're probably gonna be okay. But let's see. A, a metal enemy. Oh, yeah, no, we absolutely annihilate it. Fat Laurentius took a couple of blows there, but I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that was it. People were worried about Scythers and Centipedes. I think we're good. You know what you people get up to in your own time is not my business. This is almost perfect. This is one of the rare series that go exactly how I wrote it down. On my design doc for the series, I wrote, Stoned hippies don't know that trees are saving them from danger. And this, like, this is it. My face when the trees start speaking dryad. Get him! Fuck him up, little dryads! Oh, it's incredible. 16 components! We turn mechanoids into autobongs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fools. <laughs> oh, you fools. You should have sent more scythers. Wow. James R. Fat Laurentius, they took a little blow there. But other than that, it was... That was a complete wipeout. Next time we get Mechanoids turning up, it, it's dangerous. But I think it's a necessary science. We should try just one Dryad versus one Scyther. Try and get a feel for how good they are with our Dryad Supremacy meme. Those components, though. I mean, this is the best day of the colony, bar... None. I mean, it's only been three days. <laughs> That's not the point. Get me a goddamn autobong. There you go. All right, let's throw one of these down. Eventually, we'll swap out these autobongs. You know what? That will make way more sense not building them. Hear me out. Instead of building an autobong in the workroom, we want to go for like a like a yayo duster or something, right? You don't want to be stoned on smoke leaf when you're trying to work on some, you know, fine mechanical stuff. You want to be absolutely wired, brain moving a thousand miles an hour, having people comment on you missing things all the time. Not speaking from experience. All right, let's put down the naked form over in our... What, what is, I assume at this point, a party room slash barn for Pierre. I've queued up to each of those, just so it's nice and symmetrical, but also give a massive beauty bonus. Oh, bonsai pots everywhere. Oh, that's a good idea. 3,100 ironwood already. My god. And those give the sizable beauty bonus too, right? So let's take a look at the normal ironwood double bed. Gives a beauty bonus of 7. Whoa. I did tell them to build these out of out of ironwood, didn't I? They look as if they're made of granite blocks. Well, I'm absolutely changing that over because we don't want any stone in, in the grove, do we? I mean, that's just unthinkable. Hey, Petal, get that weak shit out of here. And I guess in the party room, you probably want... <laughs> you probably want some of the Yayo dusters as well then, huh? This is like also borderline sweaty remod. Missing body part 0.87. 1.7%. Not only did the Dryads kill them quickly, but they did it efficiently too. My god, they're like horrifying little killing machines. This is how the Zerg starts. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna turn into some sort of intergalactic menace. Well, that's the downside of solar powered also bombs, right? Second the sun goes away, the fun goes away. Let's throw down hey, let's throw down a large battery because that's less maintenance time. And let's hide that in the mountain, somewhere where it can never damage trees when it <laughs> inevitably explodes. Utilizing an in-depth knowledge and a lot of experience in the fine drug that is Yayo, a method to more effectively distribute it is devised from the Devil's Bong mod. This is a mod after my own heart. Thank you. Straight for that very important space attack. What do we want to go for? I mean, we do have... Oh, thank you. I mean, we do have... Dubs bad hygiene, and right now everybody is shitting in latrines, while meanwhile we've got spacey technology on how to more efficiently distribute drugs. I'm not going to say we've gone about it ass backwards, because our priorities are absolutely the place they should be, but I do think it needs maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit more attention in other places. Like, for example, the disco room. Maybe get a, maybe get a couple of speakers down there. Oh, somebody also was a little disappointed in the comments yesterday that wasn't called a snow cannon, so I've renamed it snow cannon for you oh you actually need to fill up with yayo not just with psychoid but that of course makes sense given that there's go juice and flake and everything else what a fool okay forget the drugs for a while 
but not for long. Do we have enough steel to finish the disco room and also build some sort of water grid? Probably not. We can build that of ironwood. Okay, that's good. We still need a little bit of steel though for it. And I mean, the wind pump is fine and works, but we've got like these, these rain catchers, atmospheric water generators, fog catchers. We built that out of ironwood. Oh, you better have cloth. Cloth on a ton, a little bit of steel. Oh, cool. I assume though a fog catcher only works in the fog? Is that probably a <laughs> probably a sensible suggestion, maybe? Let's just stick with what we know. Let's build let's build the regular water pumps for the time being, and we'll we'll just kind of go from there. And we're gonna build them in a place that won't interrupt the trees or upset nature. I could put it in the middle of the drugs fields, I guess. <sighs> I'm not happy about it, but it's either that or we chop sweet innocent trees and of course ironwood plumbing we've got to try and do what we can to preserve nature where possible oh shit here we go round two this one is way stronger we've got a termite we've got a lancer two lancers two scythers a termite and a pintman they don't have a million gajillion dryads we've got 25 <laughs> we've, we've only got 25 right now. And we need to move these guys in fast. Otherwise, that termite is just going to take down our hedge, which I really don't appreciate. Ah! Dryads! Oh, God, it turns out hedges really don't make a good anti mechanoid defense. Oh, my party room! He just wants to disco. But I'm sorry, termite, you're not allowed in. This guy's really whiffing it. He could have got through in three shots. He's already fired four. Oh, God, he heard me. They're in. Well, now they've got to get through the other one. They're here. They're here. Search and destroy. Okay, they can't search and destroy. Oh, God. Chuckles. Oh, Chuckles. Right, okay. Let's prioritize targets here. Lancers, I think, can do the most damage to our our little guys. So give me like give me like five of them. Six will do. Go for him. Give me another six. You go for... Uh, what's the other Lancer? You guys go, guys go for him. Give me seven. We go for the... We go for the pikeman. Everyone else, you know what? We're going to send three to go for Scyther. This is a sweaty rimwall, but I mean, look. <laughs> We're fighting actual literal death bots with little tree people. Let me send these two off to the other side and forget about the termite. It's not going to do anything to us. Go! Look at them! They're so majestic! Oh my god! One got instantly killed! No! It was like the. No, not another one! Dump McCavin, Subork, Turtle Boy. It was their first fucking day on the job. Oh, one day off of retirement as well. Uh, here, 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 get him. Get him. Like, get him, though. Uh, get, get, get them. Get them all. I'll send these guys over here. Stream search and destroy doesn't really work too much, but that's okay. Min Max Dryads, that's what we're here for. Fuck him up. To fuck him up. Kill that man. Get revenge. Get revenge for your fallen brethren. Die. Okay. So look, when we can get in there, the damage they do is incredible. I mean, the problem is they are literally little naked naked tree boys, which doesn't help us at all. How many components we got for the 22? What the fuck? Dumb McGavin, Sabork, and Turtle Boy. Get them buried. Get them buried. We're having a funeral for all of them. We're going to treat these like they're actually colonists. Are they sad at all that the dryads died? That's bullshit. You should be upset about that. Carefully, Pestle. He's a hero. Pierre, meanwhile, is just really awakened from his night of partying. <laughs> what the fuck is a mechanoid blows up in the disco room? Yeah, I'm not sure about the hedges, team. I mean, they're great. You can't argue they are nature's wall. Problem is nature's wall is also very, very shitty. Bring everybody over. No, 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 no. We're having a goddamn funeral. I don't care if you're dying of hypothermia. That's it. Bring the dryads. Everybody gather around. Come on. To little Sir Bork, I shall write you an epitaph. Say not in grief that he is no more. That's already beautiful. But we're going we're gonna to leave that and run a little more. I ask you all, remember their names. The three first fallen Chlora Dryads, except for the one yesterday who I've forgotten about. <laughs> we have Sir Bork. Brave, sweet Sir Bork. First of the fallen. Fearless in the face of danger. Say not in grief that he is no more. Secondly, we have Dunk McGavin. One of the greatest three Chlora d d dry Dryads I ever knew. Need to speak to that engraver. Good night. And you will dream of me. And finally, Turtle Boy. Lived as he died, ripping and tearing. How sound is the slumber. Like the dew on the mountain, like the foam of the river. That really is just so moving. We should probably patch up some of the other ones before they <laughs> before they bleed to death. Dryad Hospital. Now we could build an animal sleeping spot, but they are not animals. They are sentient defenders of this colony for which we owe our lives. Otherwise... All of our people would have been ripped apart by 
Machinoids. You could argue that forcing animals to fight your battles on your behalf so that you can safely stay behind your your Garden of Eden's walls and be stoned all day is, is, is ethically questionable. But look, they're the ones out there on the front lines. They're happy to do it. They mutated those big ripping and tearing arms. Poor sweet little triads. <laughs> Jimmy's just kind of hanging out there for moral support. We need to build them all houses, like I said. That'll be that'll be the next job. Well, maybe we'll get our humans all set up with with you know like drinking water. Maybe having one latrine shared by currently seven people isn't an ideal situation. There we go. A few bathroom upgrades in place. We've got a nice wooden toilet going down there because that's what every house needs. Keeps your life a bit more exciting when you got to run splinters every single time. Then let's throw down uh maybe a shower. My God, that would help out a lot. All they've been doing is sitting in hot boxes and milking milky. They are, this is a sweat fest. On a scale of stinkiest colonies we've ever had, this is absolutely up there. Naked, spending all day in the dirty fields. Oh, hang on, no, they do have a hot spring. No sewage capacity. Oh, that's a fair point. Um, normally I would just do something innocent with that, like pump it right into a river or, I don't know, drinking water. <laughs> I guess, I guess we just pump it the other side of the hedge. Out of sight, out of mind. How? What? Hypothermia? Wait, it's going up? Another stone on small leaf is going up. I was about to ask how the hell she got hypothermia in a room that's 28 degrees C. Uh, you want me to do what? Sorry? <laughs> and Bozala, a duke of the Commonwealth of Jilp, is making a request. He wants you to take care of five corpse revenants at Catharsis for six days. They're his favorite pets, but they have paralytic abasia. Uh, we could get it for a person. Uh, they're a pretty good person, too. A couple of violent is irrelevant, of course. Cookie 11 gastronomist is quite nice. Undergrounder is okay, I suppose. More importantly, a lot of people said this yesterday. We could just get a shitty colonist. It doesn't matter if they're really terrible. And just connect them to, like, five anima tree. And just have them tending all day. I could be persuaded, but we do also want to... We do want to ally with the Empire. It's another seven honor with Petal. Shit. I mean, that could be quite good. Um. It's a hard choice. We've only got to take care of him for six days, so that's like easy XP. Let's take this then. Sod it. We can get recruits in plenty of other ways. We can't get honor. Boom. Corpse Revenants. That's not a... <laughs> that's not a pop-up I like seeing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Corpse Revenants too. Those are crafted by Dryads. This is fucked up. But on the plus side, it did say they're his favorite pets. When we get the research, we can craft these out of the corpses of our enemies. Hunting Animal of Peace Treaty. Okay, so they do just count as hunting animals then. I didn't know if they were, like, somewhat, like, colonists as well. Horrible. Like, actually horrible. But it's the dream. It's the dream. Let's go along with our dryads. What an army. Okay, what are the, what are the complaints? Show me. No alien slaves want alien meat. You are, you are on your own. What about our people? Sleeping alone. Dryad died. They are sad about the dryads. Oh. That's good. I mean, it's not good to dry a die, but I mean, it's good that they actually they actually care. It's not like a regular colony where they're just kind of disposable. Embarrassed? Someone walked in on me while I was using the toilet. Which one of your seven wives was that, Milky? And you're sad, why? Cold water. Oh, fair point. How do you... How do you cook water? What's the word? <laughs> how do you make water warm? What the fuck is the word for that? Ah, uh, boil. Boil it. You boil water. Right, got it. Sorry. We can... Uh, solar heater. That's perfect. That couldn't be any more on brand. Ah, uh, 75 steel. Oh, shit. It was worth a shot, I suppose. Let's go ahead and throw that... Throw that back here. I mean, it's dead space. It's not doing anything else, is it? Now, where on earth am I going to store all of this cooked water? Uh, hot water tank. Perfect. Sorry, cooked water tank. Where are we going to put that, though? Um, I feel like I need, like, a dedicated building for this. Like, like a water facility or something like that maybe on this side of the map for the time being let's chuck it in the living area because it'll probably need maintenance i assume so we've got all of the essentials in life right now we've got water we have food shelter fields and fields of drugs the only problem is we can't do anything with those drugs because i got the <laughs> i got the aerosolizer before we actually got the ability to make drugs let's go for drug production hypothermia meanwhile sorcia continues to Stand outside in the fucking freezing cold, you fool. I, I hate you. <laughs> I absolutely fucking hate you. Outdoor recreation is now banned. We're going to move it all inside. There you go. To be fair, the living area is a complete dump. Let's do something about this. Why am I building campfires when we've got heaters? We're like burning wood when we could be... We could just be using renewable energy. What a fool. I mean, we don't have any steel. Okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> 
completely fucks that plan. We got any steel a bit more convenient to the base? Uh, absolutely not. Fantastic. <gasps> Petal is visiting the grave. Visiting the grave of Dump McGavin. <laughs> and I suppose, to be fair, machining wouldn't hurt because then we can recycle the mechanoids. That's pretty damn green. Uh, okay. Let's go for it then. Machine. Brilliant. Machining. There we are. Give me one of those. What the fuck? That wasn't part of the deal. Was it part of the deal, though? Maybe it was. Ah. Uh, nope. The corpse evidence are just here for the fun of it. An acolyte in danger. Mechanoids. There'll be two raids. Okay. Now we've done that. This is just a completely random mechanoid cluster. I guess they heard about our, our mastery in killing mechanoids. 1,068 threat points. Wow. My god, I have a feeling we're probably going to lose some dryads this time around. We've only got 24. One hasn't respawned yet either. Do animals set off proximity activators? I don't think they do, do they? Well, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> Here they come. Okay, little dryads. Let's just... I mean, look. Let's bunch up here. Let's aim to kind of get them in a straight line here. That way, if they set off the proximity detector, these guys have got to come around, then we can clap them. And we might be able to avoid the turrets too. If they don't set off the proximity detector... Oh. Oh, they're done for. Look. <laughs> Look at this setup. We are not trapped in here with you, mechanoids. You are trapped in here with us. Get him. Marry us. For God's sake. Well, I really haven't... Right, well, that was... <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that. Oh, fuck. Oh, sweet precious dryads. On the plus side, some of their corpses completely exploded. So we don't have to build too many more sarcophagus. <laughs> Thank you for your help, my incredibly violent imperial friend. Off you go. That was a complete disaster. I, now, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I wanted to save the manometric power cell because what greener source of energy is there than a manometric power cell? Runs forever. You don't need to do anything with it. It's not affected by weather, eclipses. What I quite clearly very much miscalculated there was the fact that the turrets would explode and destroy everything. And as we bury the many fallen warriors, defenders, angels of this colony, I'm going to make one thing abundantly clear. I am sure as fuck not writing an epitaph for every single one of them that died. What I will do is name our next batch of dryads after the first batch of dryads because the first batch didn't really get... I mean, they had a pretty explosive end, literally. But I feel like they didn't really submit a name for themselves. They, did, they didn't do things that define them, not like Pierre. So I've built them this very lovely graveyard where we can visit them and learn from the mistakes of our past. Sending tiny little tree creatures to go and punch a very, very explosive mechanoid technology. It's probably not a good idea. But other than my mass murdering of dryads, accidentally, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job today. You know, we've got the power grid online. It's all green, clean energy. We've got the auto bong set up and other auto bongs better, stronger auto bongs almost ready to go. I can only say this has been a great success. And more to the point, we picked up so much honor. Little Petal's going to be a countess before you even know it. That should be a proper dryad queen and a proper dried pain in the ass. Thank you all for watching. Thank you very much with me today. Apologize about this episode being slightly later as well. Quite simply, the mod pack was a little bit bricked because of one of the mods updating, so I had to figure out what mod it was because a handful updated. Uh, it took me a little while to fix all of that too because I'd already loaded into the save, which meant I had to go back to an old save and catch us back up. It's a bit of a nightmare. Everything's fine now. Thank you for asking. Thank you, more importantly, to Highly Caffeinated Gamer UK, Bobka, Udrick, El Chalupa Cabra, Squires, Texas, Yardbird, Accidental King, Dagon, Cat, Dexter, Kyle, Ethox, Chris, Ava, and Dranmere for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Patreons, pat patrons, uh, I will be doing that update video very, very, very shortly. Just still catching up with, uh, literally still Christmas. Obviously, COVID has also been a massive pain in my ass, so I've been uh, a little bit, a little bit preoccupied with that. But everything should be fine now, and I can start catching up properly. Thank you as well to Doctor Hunk. Bilbo Fraggins, Nia, Ever Vigilant One, 
Rave Pyra, Ink, K, Raylan Gar, Cody Coke, Larry the Emu, Mimic with Munchies, Mini, The Little Moist Men, Quagasol, and Citatus for their support as well. Oh, I really haven't 